What is OneCoin? Millions of people around the world are mining OneCoin today. The reason? It's a platform for innovation that changes the financial industry. Put simply, it gives instant access to easier, faster and low-cost financial services. You do not need to go to your traditional financial institution or escrow agent to send money to your loved ones. Fast. We make transactions every minute. Hence, you are able to send money from any part of the world to another in a minute. Easy. Everyone can transfer money with one coin. You only need your phone to do so. Safe. And most importantly, mining the coin, transferring money and making payments with one coin is absolutely safe. When joining one coin, we automatically create an e-wallet for you. Because of our centralized model, we take care of all technical aspects, ensuring that your mined coins are safe. What's more, to prevent money laundering, identity theft, financial fraud, and terrorist financing, OneCoin has implemented KYC, Know Your Customer Procedures, thus preventing any possible misconduct by its clients. OneCoin also became the first cryptocurrency with a monthly audit of its blockchain. People join OneCoin for a reason, to learn about cryptocurrency, to mine the coin, to transfer money, to make payments without the need for expensive or unsafe intermediaries, to deposit money and to save over 80% in remittance costs. Use OneCoin to save your time and money every time you need financial services. Inspired by Dr. Rujay Gnatova's strong vision to provide access to financial services for everyone, regardless of income, social status and ethnicity, OneCoin has become a global company with a community of thousands of miners worldwide in just over a year. One World, One Coin, join the financial revolution. of the adult population and more than 2 billion people worldwide are outside of the banking system today, limiting many to a state of poverty and discouragement. This is a major problem in the world today. However, challenging times are also the most powerful times as they make us creative, searching for newer and better solutions. The current banking system was developed over 60 years ago but newborn ideas and innovative technology has opened the door to a financial evolution that holds the power to transform our entire world. The money we use today is called fiat currency. The term came out of the idea that a claim check or a dollar was backed up by gold. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets. This changed in the 70s when the U.S. government cancelled the direct convertibility of the U.S. dollar to gold. No fiat currency has ever retained its value over time, and the principle is easy. Every time the central bank prints more currency, the currency we have in our pockets loses its value and is called inflation. After years of inflation, overloaned markets, and irresponsible unregulated financial management, the consequences were huge and finally led to the financial crisis of 2008. A crisis that was also the beginning of a great financial evolution. Cryptocurrency was born. The idea of cryptocurrency was to create a new currency that was free from inflation and based on the same principles as gold, where supply and demand is creating the value. An idea based on the perks of technological advancement that could provide us much faster, cheaper and more secure transactions. Since then, a lot has happened and around a decade later, cryptocurrency has started to impact our entire world. Do you think this is a currency, a currency that's really going to work eventually? Well, I think it is working um, and uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. It's legally seen as a commodity in the United States, while in the European Union, it's classified as an asset. 
Today, all major banks have realized the impact this type of currency will have on our monetary system, and banks around the world are now looking for innovative ways to implement cryptocurrency and the underlying technology, the blockchain in the existing banking system. Cryptocurrency is still a new concept to a lot of people, but the innovation is becoming an accepted new form of money, just in a digital form. However, it is the underlying technology, the blockchain, that holds the power to transform not only our monetary system, but the whole way we operate in society today. Not many people believed in the internet 30 years ago. Today, around 40% of the world's population is connected to the World Wide Web. In 1995, it was less than 1%. What made the internet so successful was that it was open for anyone and we could start sending information instantaneously worldwide. The blockchain, on the other hand, is the internet of value and it gives us the ability to transmit not information but value in the blink of an eye worldwide. The internet is a communications protocol while the blockchain is a protocol for value exchange. The blockchain technology, the foundation of cryptocurrency, is right now being implemented in most areas of society. The stock market, in sales records, in contract processing, and of course within the financial sector of payments and transactions, to name a few examples. The new era of finances that you are about to discover is the second generation of internet and the blockchain. Cryptocurrency, the future of payments, is about to revolutionize the economy as we know it today. Bitcoin had an incredible increase of value from 2009 till the end of 2013. The price of a single Bitcoin went from 0.1 US dollars to over 1100 US dollars and many people worldwide made a fortune. At the same time, many missed out on the opportunity because they lacked information, but also the skepticism cryptocurrency initially was looked upon with. The pioneers soon showed that there was plenty of room for improvement in the future, and with the development of new cryptocurrencies, it has opened the door for a much safer and more friendly cryptocurrency. OneCoin The founder of OneCoin, Dr. Ruja Ignatova, has a solid background in finance with a master's degree in economy and a PhD in law. She's a former associate partner at McKinsey, managing clients such as Allianz, Skirbank, Unicredit, and other large financial institutions. Dr. Ruja also consulted other cryptocurrencies and quickly became one of the most knowledgeable persons on the topic, an expert. She clearly saw the huge potential of creating a new, innovative, more secure, and accessible cryptocurrency and started to make great improvements for the future. Based on a solid strategy for global expansion applicable for everyone through the cryptocurrency OneCoin. The global distribution of educational materials on cryptocurrency and the introduction to OneCoin started in September 2014 through the principle of membership per invitation only and the company has as a result of great leadership already reached out to millions of people in over 195 countries around the world. The One Life Network is, from the 11th of June 2016, the official company distributing educational packages that gives education on cryptocurrency and finance. The members can also receive promotional tokens which can be submitted to mine OneCoins. During the first operative year, the turnover was 1 billion euro and only three months later it reached the 2 billion euro mark. With approximately a decade down the road there are many cryptocurrencies on the market today and there are a few things most of them have in common. First of all they are decentralized which makes the market scattered and not openly accepted everywhere. They are designed for people with high-tech and software intelligence speculators or professional traders. They rely on unstable external factors, which makes the market itself unstable. They are mainly focusing on public trading, making them speculative, closing the doors for the mass population. 
They allow you to make anonymous transactions and are therefore impossible to track, inviting possible illegal misuse. They are difficult to integrate into today's economical system. So what makes OneCoin different? OneCoin is designed to be initially centralized but not government owned, which makes it possible to control the growth and integrate OneCoin in today's monetary system. Built on a business strategy creating a strong brand and a stable market globally without high volatility. Traceable and protected with the Know Your Customer policy, known as KYC, which takes cryptocurrency to a whole new level of transparency. Primarily focused on the utility, OneCoin chooses to continuously implement more functions and open platforms for owners to trade and use coins, which is growing the market and creating a higher demand for cryptocurrency worldwide. It's user-friendly and open to all. No need for expensive equipment, special or trading knowledge. It's simply for everyone. Education is provided for all members to get empowered and to make well-informed decisions and gain financial literacy. On top of this, OneCoin is now setting a new global standard through its unique integration of the KYC procedure into the actual blockchain, which creates a high level of security and transparency. A powerful procedure that most certainly paves the way to integrate OneCoin as the first cryptocurrency to be part of the global economy. At least, that's the goal. OneCoin truly holds the key to help people in emerging countries to take a leap with technology and get instant access to cryptocurrency and banking through cryptocurrency and take advantage of the opportunities in the developed countries. While most cryptocurrencies are based on speculation through public trading, OneCoin has its primary focus on utility. Since the value of cryptocurrency is based on supply and demand, the larger the area of utility, the higher the value of the coin. According to the first predictions in 2014, the value of a single one coin after one year was to reach 5 euro. However, already 10 months later, the price of a single one coin exceeded the initial prognosis and hit 5 euro 65. One coin is expecting a further increase in value within the next couple of years based on the constantly growing network of miners, but also because of the numerous companies who want access to the millions of OneCoin owners to promote their services and products, thus expanding the utility area even further. This is not a promise or a guarantee in any way. However, the historical aspect of OneCoin's journey so far makes the future even more exciting and it can benefit the entire modern society and future generations. So how does one get started? By joining the One Life Network, you get a first-class financial education that will help you become an educated miner. The education packages come in seven different levels, starting as low as 140 euro and up to 27,530 euro, offering different modules of education on finance, trading and cryptocurrency. For each level of education, you receive a fixed amount of promotional tokens Depending on what package you purchase, you also qualify for one or more splits. A split will double your amount of tokens and can therefore be used to generate more coins. Once your tokens have split accordingly, you can submit them to the mining pools with only a few clicks to start mining your one coins. The One Life Network also offers very beneficial combinations of the various educational packages. These combinations give you access to automatic mining so you can join the mining pools instantly without additionally waiting for a split. Besides automatic mining, these strategic combinations can also generate for you additional splits, tokens and therefore also more OneCoins. Apart from the educational packages, OneLife has introduced its first own physical product available for members to easily access the online market. The One Tablet, a portable smart device that can be used on a daily basis and holds the potential to enhance the learning, trading and networking business activities of any member of the One Life Network. With the tremendous growth the company has been facing, it has been dedicated not only to give more to its members, 
but also to give back to society. The One World Foundation is currently active in several countries where companies and members of the One Life Network continuously donate money to empower and to help children reach their full potential through education and long-term support. Cryptocurrency and this new financial market really holds the potential to create banking for the 2 billion people who do not have access to the banking system today, according to the World Bank. It's one of the most emerging markets today that can plug in the unbanked into the financial system simply by using a phone. It can eliminate the middleman that charge high fees for remittances and cross-border payments where the average fee is 7.7% but can reach up to 29%, taking several days as well, and help people secure assets and grow capital in an extremely fast-growing market. What's creating the value of OneCoin? To meet the needs of the public mass market, OneCoin will mine a total of 120 billion coins and the efficient blockchain is developed to allow extremely fast transactions. A continuously growing network, creating a strong brand in combination with the increasing amount of merchants that want to get access to the millions of OneCoin's owners. Constantly growing areas of utility. These factors create the value of the coins and when one coin goes public, the market is already there, spread out globally and the increase of value will most probably be a fact. One coin is social, global and easy to access through the One Life Network. Networking and social media today holds a tremendous power to influence that can change pretty much any market. Do you remember Netscape and Yahoo? The search engines that were soon forgotten as the giant Google took over the complete market and introduced a user-friendly and much more sophisticated software. Do you remember MySpace, the social network platform that was soon forgotten as Facebook took over the entire market? Neither of these giants used advertisement as a way of reaching out to people. The growth of these companies was based on trust, results and the most powerful of all elements, satisfied users and the word of mouth. The same phenomenon that OneCoin is experiencing right now. Now you have a powerful and transparent opportunity in front of you and you can join the millions of miners, traders and merchants to mine coins and diversify your portfolio, positioning yourself for the future to come. With this information, you can be in the forefront of this new era, an emerging market that is about to change the global economy. Decision making is based on information and you can now make use of the information given to you. So make sure to get your questions answered by the person who showed you this video to get started. And keep in mind that the question is not if cryptocurrency will impact your future economy. It's rather, are you ready for the new economical era emerging upon us? If you are, make sure to join this financial revolution and be part of the fastest growing cryptocurrency in the world. One coin. Hi guys and welcome to this short presentation about One Life in general, yes of course, but also I have the privilege to actually launch for you and speak a little bit about an amazing tool that was recently launched on the event in Bangkok the 1st of October. So why am I so enthusiastic about this? Yes, because it will be the next step in the progress of driving one coin and one life the network forward and actually putting some real, real, real value into this one. My name is Stefan and I've been involved in this business of one life, one coin actually now for about one and a half years. So why am I so excited? Yes, as I said, this is the next step now of the evolution, if you might say like this, of one life. And we got involved in this business about one and a half years ago. One of the main reasons for me really, really starting to put the gloves on and get working was that 
Dr. Rouge was briefing me about what she has in mind for one coin, where she wanna go and so on. And for me, it was extremely important to know that we actually will be able to use the coin in the future, because this is what it's all about, of course. Putting value into the one coin, being able to use it and so on. And ladies and gentlemen, we are actually proceeding towards this very fast right now. So what drives normally a network? Yeah, of course, there are very various things that drives a network, but of course it is about the opportunity to gain financial independence. And why can we do this in, in a, such a strong way in one coin and in one life? Yeah, I believe because people actually believe and can see that we want to increase the value and demand for the coin. And by this way then becoming an active part of shaping the future of money. This was what was driving me in the beginning and the vision that I saw where we were going. And having said that, this is now one and a half years ago. And that seems like, yeah, a very short time. But for me, it seems like a long time also. And now looking back how fast the time went, but it feels long, like I said, in the same way also. It's really, really amazing to see what's been happening. Because we're looking a little bit about what's been happening. Yeah, in 2014, the mining was starting, the One Academy was born and so on. And of course, also through 2015, when we got involved and so on, the brand was expanding and also a lot, a lot of other things were in the makings and so on. But actually now, 2016 has been really, really the year now when actually one coin has been really, really strongly stepping into the market. And if you ask me, really been taking over the full industry. Because if you're looking at the income opportunity of this opportunity of uh, one life, yeah, just go to businessforhome.org and have a look and you understand why I am so ent enthusiastic about it. Because you can see how powerful it is from the income stories displayed. So why am I now, like I said, so enthusiastic? Yes, because we are actually now proceeding, not only having now two and a half million members worldwide, paid members, but actually now proceeding towards the next step. And that is to grow the merchant network. So ladies and gentlemen, now we are not only focusing anymore purely on mining the coin. Of course, this will be the very important part still for a few years to come, but now also being able to start to grow the merchant network. And this, why am I so excited? Like I said, yeah, because this will grow and stab stabilize the coin value. I, I think you understand that because of course, by being able to use your coin, creating the usability and strengthening it, we will also be able to have a very interesting coin in the future. So now the first step in this and why, uh, yeah, why I'm here today is to talk about the mobile application builder. Why am I so excited about this? I keep on saying this. Yes, because not only is this a good product for one coin and one day being able to use the coin in the merchants and so on, but this in itself, and I want you to understand this, put aside one life, put aside one coin and focus only on this product right now. This is the future, ladies and gentlemen. Do you remember when web pages were the big thing? Maybe you do. If you are old as me, you know, then you remember it for sure. Everybody wanted a web page. Now it's not like that anymore. Everybody owns a mobile device and so on. And actually, most of the part of internet traffic today goes through a mobile device. This was something new for me. I didn't know it was so high. You can Google it up yourself and you can see that I'm not talking just about something that is, you know, I'm making up. No, this is statistics. Today you are not in the game if you don't have an application. So why should I be interested as a merchant? Yes, of course, because I want customers. I want to be able to, you know, to keep a connection with my customers and so on. And this is the today's, today's business now. This is today. Mobile applications are in and they are extremely hot. Everybody wants one. The problem is usually that you can't either afford one or you can't find somebody to build it for you. And if you find somebody to build it for you, it will take time and maybe they don't get it done even in the end of the day. And as I said before, it will be pretty expensive. What we have, ladies and gentlemen, is a really, really, really good mobile application builder where you in a few steps can customize it to suit your business. And this is as a product in itself, 
extremely, extremely powerful. So how is this working? Yeah, it adds, adds of course value for the merchants. Why? Because we are a huge network with two and a half million members already active members plus all of the other 14 million customers that we have in the network all of these are of course extremely interesting for all merchants to be able to access okay but also we provide reward for our one life members why why do i say this yes because you can actually make money extra not only now from the one life and and the one Acad academy packs with tokens and so on but you can actually make extra money by providing a service that actually most of the businesses out on the market want and we provide here by a platform and prepare for the merchants to start using the coin so this is, ladies and gentlemen, something that will basically take your business, not basically, it will in reality take your business to the next level. Why? Because yeah, now people have been thinking about that. Yeah, what about this one coin, one life and so on? Will it become reality? Now they see that it becomes reality. We are now taking the step. We are already having it open for you to create merchants, applications for the merchants and connect them to the network. This is very exciting if you ask me. So what we have is a service that is extremely easy to use. It is relevant and modern, as I said before, and we can produce maximum results for a very affordable price. Why am I saying that it is very affordable, the price? Yeah, because it is, it is the fact. Normally, if you would go making an application for your business, you would pay thousands of euros, if not tens of thousands of euros. But we can actually provide this for our network to sell for as little as 1000 plus euros. So here are two ways of doing it, actually, if you look at it from a One Life member's perspective, okay? It is the small pack, which will provide with 7000 euros extra income uh, uh, possibility per week and the big pack that will provide you up to 35,000 extra per week and here ladies and gentlemen you don't need to build again your network you already if you've been working before in one life you have the very very good way of being in the forefront and actually being able to apply it on your already existing network if you are not already in one life if you haven't built before yeah now you can actually have two income sources you know side by side or if you maybe are not interested uh, from the beginning in the educational packs you can actually focus on the mo mobile application builder so it will now suit everybody if it hasn't been suiting uh, before now it will so what do I need to do? It's very simple. I need to have a package myself. I choose, do I want 7,000 euros extra income opportunity or do I want 35? For me, that is pretty, pretty easy choice because I will get seven mobile application builders with the big pack. That means that I can also, I can support my network with it. I can give them forward so they can get income opportunities straight, straight from the start. But I can, of course, earn more. If I then want matching bonus also, because now I am only talking about from the beginning of the cap. So I can do this in my network bonus, which is the binary, left side, right side, I will not go in too deep in this one, or I can also earn matching. And here it is very important to understand that I need one directly sponsored on the left and one directly sponsored on the right in order to also get matching bonus, as simple as that. So, as I said before, we have a small package, which is the 1,100 euro, and this is very important that it includes, okay, it includes the assistant, ass assistance for publishing. Because this is something that might be a little bit, you know, tricky for you if you've never been doing it before, so I recommend you to take then the help that we provide for publishing it. What, what does this mean? Yeah, very simple. We will publish it together with you, help you to publish it in Google Store and in Apple Store. Okay? It provides 1,000 BVs in commissions. And then we have the big pack that is 5,700 euro, one-time fees, of course. In One Life Network, you don't have monthly fees. It is a one-time fee. And this one gives you 5,000 BVs and seven codes. So the small package, just to repeat, gives you one code so you can actually build one mobile application with it or with the big pack seven codes here it is very important to understand that if you need an invoice as a business you go for the small code and you register yourself first in the network for free and then you uh, purchase it yourself in order to get an invoice for your business 
So this is important. So taking a little bit of a closer look on this one, this is actually then the mobile application builder, as I said before, it is exclusively distributed by the One Life members. And here you can see a little bit from the back office how it looks. And as I said, this is already running. So it's not something that we need to wait for in the future. You can start actually today. So it's as easy as you build up your business. It is, this is a good slogan, build up your business. Uh, yeah, with an application, of course, and you can add the value for you as a One Life member, but also for the merchants, because who wouldn't want two and a half million extra customers? Of course, everybody wants. And I believe today, as I said before, that most people understand that they need an application. So why is this uh, something that I am uh, very excited about? Yeah, because this is not some kind of, you know, application builder that has only a few, you know, templates and so on. This is actually pretty, pretty advanced. I'm very happy to say I was sharing this with uh, one of our IT guys here, you know, in one of my companies that we're running together with some of my partners. And he was very surprised to see how advanced this one is and how easy it is to use it. So it is actually not something, you know, that is, okay, you can do some small things. No, actually, if you don't have uh, e-commerce from before, you can connect WooCommerce. There are other things. You can have links. You can connect it to your Facebook. You can upload. You have push uh, notifications. Yeah, you name it. It's there. And you can also, if you have somebody to help you, if you are very advanced yourself, you can also continue the programming on it. So it's actually not uh, only limited to these functions if you have some program programming experience. So this is good to know. As I said before, we are offering also a publishing assistance. It's included in the price and it is important to understand it's a one time fee. This is uh, awesome if you ask me, a one time fee. You pay once, no monthly fees, no yearly fees and so on. And this is extremely good because most of the times if you want to keep a connection with your customers you need an expensive emailing program and nobody reads emails anymore so it doesn't help anymore or then it goes into the spam and so on and yeah as i said you pay them monthly here you actually get your push notifications you can keep good contact with your customers you can get more customers to the one coin network yeah if you ask me it is probably the best spent 1100 euro that you ever did in terms of marketing also for us to know then that are building the applications from the network side, we have nine languages pretty soon in the back office available and more to come. We also have Mab tutorials, mobile application builder tutorials, so you can get started today. So even if you don't have a very extensive programming background and so on, you can actually learn very fast through the tutorials to build an application. And if you don't want that, actually, if you're selling an application for 1,100 euro, you can give somebody or some of your friend that may be not interested in networking, but want to focus on building the applications. So there are so many extra income streams created from this. That's, of course, why I am so excited. So it's not just an app, as I say. It's not about only building an app. You also build up your business. This is interesting to understand that where are we going right now? Like I said, step number one in One Life and One Coin before was to mine the coin. And still we're doing this. But we are now reaching the second stage. Okay? So now we have a window of opportunity on the next two years, basically, you know, to grow, of course, our coin, uh, how many coins we have, to grow the value of the coin, but now also to really stabilize the business and really get ourselves accepted out on the market through these applications so for me it is an extremely interesting time that we are in right now so how does it work just to go through with you really really fast how does this builder work it is important to understand you know in basics in very short how it does work and i will also go through with you fast you know how you do to activate it how, what do you need to do in the back office where can you buy it and so on so first of all, of course, you need to log into your back office. If you're already a member, you log into your uh, back office, your normal onelife.eu back office. And if you don't, uh, don't have one, you're not registered already, make sure that the person that are showing this to you helps you to get registered for free. Okay. 
So you go into the backend, you complete the video tutorials in One Life backend, you answer some questions because we don't want people to buy a package only, we want them to actually know what it's all about. So you can't actually buy this product if you don't complete the tutorials, do the questionnaire, and you also have to succeed with 70% right answers. And then you can buy it. So this is important to know that we are not just pushing out package on the market, we actually want you to understand it before you can even buy it. And this is awesome if you ask me. So, as I said, you log into your back office, you go to the shop section as you can see here. Here we have on the left hand side shop. And here it reads about the member and you can go to the map selection by clicking there and so on. So you click there, you come to the map section. And here you have, as you can see here, you have the tutorials, okay? So you have 11 tutorials, and then when you have uh, been looking at these tutorials, of course you need to learn first, and that you do through watching the tutorials. When you have done that, you can start the test. You can see here on the bottom, start the test, you fill in the questionnaire, once you have filled it in, and you get, uh, if you get less than 70% in it, then you have to try again, as you can see here on the right, and once you reach more than 70%, you can actually buy it. So this is good if you ask me. It is also good for regulatory bodies and so on to see that we are ser serious in the One Life Network. We don't want to sell products that people don't use. We only want you to participate if you know what it's all about. So once you have done this, you go again into your back office to the shop and you fill in the code for it and you press and buy. As simple as this. Once you have done this, uh, it's important to understand where can I get these codes, okay? You can get the codes through a member. Somebody can sell it for you that already have bought it. So if you have a big package, you have seven codes that you can go out and sell. And if you have a small one and you don't want to build it yourself, you can actually sell this code to somebody to do an application for it. It's very important to understand Please note, if you're a business and you need an invoice, it is very important that you buy it yourself. So in this way, you need to actually register yourself in the network. Then you go into your back office yourself, complete the test, and you buy it yourself in order to get an invoice. And here you have the email address to request the invoice from. As simple as this. Once you have done this, you redeem it. You build your application or take somebody to help you to build it. And you ask for the publishing assistance. And once it's published also, you can continue freely, of course, to update your app content. And it's pretty simple to do so also. So, there are two options. Once again, it is the 1,100 euro. And this one, again, I want to point out, if you need an invoice, please choose this one through your own back office. If you are a distributor, even a bigger distributor, they want to really seriously sell and build, I recommend a big package where you actually get two codes basically for free, okay? So this is good to have also to support your network with. Let's say you have new people starting that needs to earn income. It is not that difficult to sell one application, get 1,100 euro out of it very fast. So that is a good way so as a leader, you can give forward a few of these coupons, uh, these codes, and in the, this way support your network. So once you have been activating, as you can see here, you have your uh, uh, code. And you can go again into the shop and redeem your gift code. You fill it in and as easy as that, you will pop up to the MUB registration where you can fill in your email, password for it and create the account. As simple as this. So we have two ways actually to do this. Go directly, start building your application to MUB up here. Or you can later on also access your MAB, your MUB through the back office, through the MUB section, Merchants MAB, as you can see here. It's very simple to find it. So yeah, once this is done, uh, you just start manage it. And uh, I recommend to try it out for you as a One Life member. It is simple, as I said, if you've been building some kind of web page before, even have some kind of social media account and so on, it is not that difficult. And as you can see here from the back office that is displayed here, you have it already optimized for iPhone 5, iPhone 6, Android, HTML 5 and so on. And it is really something to recommend.
it is as I said, my partner in one of our IT businesses here, he was very surprised to see how advanced this application builder is. And he t thought it was actually being sold too cheap. And I can agree on that. But our uh, thing is not to capitalize too much on the applications. In the end of the day, the only thing we want to do is strengthen the coin value, strengthen the acceptance on the market and go towards being public in a few years from now. So yeah, as simple as this, ladies and gentlemen, it is easy, efficient, and as I said, it's a one-time fee for a lifetime app, and it's easy to manage and maintain. So yeah, this is uh, something that I uh, recommend strongly, as I said, and the last thing I want to say, start now. There is no reason for you to wait. This opportunity is not something that you will come in five years from now and want to be involved in, because then the window of opportunity will long be gone to capitalize on it. And together we are making history. We are changing the world as we see it right now. So I want to welcome you once again to One Life, and I hope you do like me, capitalize on this extremely nice business, and I see you on the top. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, are you having a good time? Are you having a great time? I am too. So, we have heard so many good speakers on stage today, but this is only the beginning. Remember, we're here for a reason. All of us are here for a reason. Now, obviously, why I'm back on stage is because I'm presenting the next speaker. Now this speaker is the reason why we're all here. This is the masterpiece of this event, actually of every single day. This is the creator, the mastermind, the founder of cryptocurrency, of OneCoin. Now, I would like for all of us, even if you are up on to the right or to the left, let's try this with a big audience. Let's all of us stand up, like all of us. All of us stand up. You over there on to the left, stand up. You on the right, stand up. Now, this will be the biggest welcoming on stage that we've ever done in history. Okay, so you help me to do this. We start now. We clap our hands when I say one, two, three, okay? Let's give a warm applause for our creator, our founder, our lovely Dr. Ruja, my sister these days. One, two, three. Applause, please. a pleasure for me to be here one and a half years after we launched our cryptocurrency OneCoin. I think today we spoke a lot about the network, the vision for the network, how big we want to be, but as always I want us to remember what this network is about. This network was created to become and to fuel the growth 
of one coin, which I strongly believe will be the number one cryptocurrency worldwide. And the reason why I believe it is because I see all of you here. One coin is easy to use, one coin is for everyone, make payments everywhere, everyone, globally. And this is who we are, global citizens of a small world wanting to make a change. So in the last two years, I've been called a lot of things. And probably the best thing that the press called me was one coin who is supposed to be the Bitcoin killer. Well, I must say I like it. And um, you all know, since we mined our first coin in January 2015, our growth exploded. Sebastian and Kari showed us the numbers. Today, over 2 million users. Users means active users. Our database has easily more than 12 million entry points. But these 2 million are active users and no other cryptocurrency has as many users as we do. Some of them are still bigger than us. Some of them are still more well known, but we are catching up. Our market capitalization today is about four and a half billion. We still have work to do to catch Bitcoin in about eight billion, but we are getting there, and we are getting there very, very fast. You know that we have a very, very long mining list. Currently, new joiners wait three to six months until they mine coins. And this is something that is very frustrating for all of us. This is difficult. If we want to plug in merchants, if we want to make this coin usable, we need to mine faster. We need more coins, we need to grow. Now I want to show you one more thing. This is one coin currently being number two. Bitcoin, eight million market capitalization, over 500 euro per coin. To mine one Bitcoin today, it can take you up to one year. One year for one coin, wow. This is not a mass market cryptocurrency. The other ones, if you look at their market capitalization, 1 billion and the next one, 200 million. I think we hit 200 million market capitalization two months when we were on the market, mining coins. So when we go out, when we speak about cryptocurrency, what makes us different? What makes us different from Bitcoin? But what makes us different from all the Mickey Mouse coins out there who copy our concept? And I'll tell you what makes us different. <laughs> I believe what makes us different is our vision. We are more than just one coin. We create the world around this coin. And this is what our network does not only mining the coin, but creating a whole ecosystem. And the new website is on. Whoever goes on onecoin.eu will find a lot of information about our coin and about our vision. And this is something we have been working on a lot and a long, long time. This is the circle of success or the Wheel of Fortune, or however you want to call it, but this is one coin's world. And yes, our coin is in the middle of this circle, but it is a whole ecosystem. It is a life, it's a network. It is a lot of things. And I do not believe that any other cryptocurrency competitor, whatever we call them, has such a view on the future and what's coming up. So, one coin for me always starts with education. You see the new launched website, the One Academy. 
And why is education so important for us? Some of you have children, I guess. So at one point of time, these children want to drive a car. Will you let your child drive a car without a driver's license, without knowing the rules, without knowing what a car is? I would not. So this is why I see the One Academy, which is the only way how you can mine coins, by the way, as a kind of driver's license for cryptocurrency. Do not mine cryptocurrency. Do not trade cryptocurrency without education, because it is one of the riskiest investment classes out there, and you have to know what to do. And we are the only company who provides to all their members important information on what cryptocurrency is. We bring cryptocurrency to everyone. And this is why this is the first and the most important part of this wheel. The second one, and it will become more and more important, is our exchange. The one exchange today, you know, has some basic functions. Buy, sell, watch the price. But we all understand that this is just the beginning. This exchange one day will be switched on and be a global exchange for everyone. Today, you all learn to buy and to sell the coin. We learn how to do basic operations. Many of you have never traded before, have never used an exchange before. So this is our chance now to learn how to do it. And this exchange, I am sure in two years, will be the one with most cryptocurrency transactions globally, because this coin is going to be number one worldwide. The community is our network, their network, a network. And this community is actually what makes us so strong. I always make the example with Facebook. All of us here, or most of us, are part of OneCoin. A lot of us got so excited about cryptocurrency and this concept, they brought friends. A lot of you, will bring even business partners or merchants. So this means you become part of a community or of a family. Now I can go and I can launch a new portal like Facebook, more beautiful, more functions, better chats, God knows what. But still, you will not leave your friends on Facebook to be alone somewhere else in a more beautiful environment. This is what makes us strong the community, two million people who are strong for this coin and who want to build their success. And this is something that nobody can do so fast as we did. So they are saying the next five years will be the era of cryptocurrency. A boom will start. A lot of new cryptocurrency will start to be done. They say Microsoft will launch a cryptocurrency. Google will launch a cryptocurrency. But all these people need to start where we started two years ago. Educate people, build their network, attract merchants. And this, as we all know, is a process. And we are two years ahead of them. This no one can take from us. <laughs> On the merchants, I believe that the merchants will be actually the one who will bring us into the next level. Bitcoin currently has almost no merchants taking it. And there are reasons for this. If I want to do a Bitcoin transaction, I have to wait 10 minutes until the transaction is approved. Now imagine me and Aaron in the flower shop that he made an example. Aaron, do you want to wait 10 minutes until you can buy some flowers? I forgot after two minutes where I want to go. I cannot wait 10 minutes. So this is something that is difficult about Bitcoin. The second thing that is difficult, you know the fluctuation. Today a Bitcoin is 500 euro. Tomorrow, if I'm lucky and a merchant, 550. Yesterday, 400. Again, the day after tomorrow, maybe 300. Who knows? 
merchants do not want to take a risk that whatever money they receive today is worth less tomorrow. Very, very important. One important part of our vision for the coin next to the merchant is global payments. Now, global payments means individuals, of course, making payments to each other. If I work in Singapore, my family in India, I want to send money to my family. I want to do it fast. I don't want to have a limit on this payment. But also, if I'm a very small, let's say, IT company in the UK, and I want to sell my services to China or to India or to some other market, Russia, it's very difficult for me as a small business to make sure I receive payments from many of my clients. How do I do this? What do I do? How can I get my money out of China? How can I target a market like this? Well, guess what? We are a global currency. We have clearance in China, in Europe, in India, in Latin America, worldwide. This is why I believe that a global cryptocurrency can be a successful one and not a regional cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency for Europe only, in my opinion, would fail. But a global cryptocurrency has a huge future ahead. Now, there's almost no real investment products on cryptocurrency. Bitcoin on a forex, non-liquid, non-existent. We want to provide long term and bring one coin to the financial community. We want to provide proper forex. This means you can trade one coin with every of your local currency be it dollar, be it euro, Thai baht, RMB, all of these currencies. This is a part of our plan and this will come most probably next year, but we will bring one coin to the level of financial services in a very, very high class. Another thing that we want to do is we want to let our members create an investment fund with their coins. Invest your coin in real assets if you wish to do so. We will offer an investment fund until year end where you can participate with your coins and participate also in other classes. The One World Foundation, a charity which is very dear to my heart. Yesterday, I think we raised over 70,000 euro for it. I think you know. A lot of you have been donating to this charity. Thank you very much. A lot of you are supporting this charity. I think this is one of the greatest things that you guys do. And uh, yes, OneCoin has changed a lot of lives here, but you also have been changing the lives of a lot of children. And what is even the best that I see is that some of the members do things on their own and support children, hospitals, and do a lot of good things. And I'm so proud to see that these people who make a lot of money with OneCoin give back to the community. And I really, really thank you all for this. You saw the Coin Cloud Challenge. Cryptocurrency and the internet are always facing security issues. So security and safety for us is very important. You know this. So the coin cloud is a part of our universe to make your life and your, let's say, online behavior more safe and secure. So business application, business solutions, definitely around one coin are very important for us. And games and entertainment, a lot of things today happen in the world of entertainment and we'll expand there too and make OneCoin also a cryptocurrency that can be used for fun, for games and for other good things. Taking a step back, I believe that OneCoin is really the only cryptocurrency out there thinking in a global and holistic way about how to make the coin usable out there. I don't know any cryptocurrency doing this. And we achieved a lot in the last year, but there's a long way to go, guys. 
we are one year old. When Bitcoin was one year old, their price was 15 cents. Nobody cared about Bitcoin. Oh, I lost 100 coins. What is it? Oh, I don't care. 15 euro, gone. We are one year old and we already wrote history. But this is just the beginning. In two years, we should be 10 million users, active users, 1 million merchants. And I believe that the merchants really will make this currency huge. 10 million users, 1 million merchants. This is the next milestone that we are chasing here. We have been growing very, very fast. Sometimes people even come to me and say, but Dr. Ruja, did I miss the opportunity? Is it over? What do we do now? And the answer is, actually, this is just the beginning. Because Kari and Sebastian showed us this beautiful map. We are very red in China. I guess everybody here knows how big China is. So let me be very frank with you. We are not big in China. We can be much bigger in China. Everybody needs to know one coin's name in China and globally. We are currently here and can go up, 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 much higher. This is where Bitcoin was after one year. And imagine where they are now. The sky really is the limit for us. So much potential. Every day, new networker join us. Today, we integrated, you will see the press release, another network joining us. A lot of people come to us and just want to join the network because it's a successful network, because we keep our promises. But also a lot of networks just want to join us because we have a killer product. How many products out there are so good and so easy to bring to the people like ours? Not many. So also one thing that I see about OneCoin is that a lot of people who never have been in this industry join us. They just get excited about innovation. Instead of doing a Facebook IPO, they decide to do a one coin, join their financial revolution, be part of innovation, be one of the first adopters. This is why we capture a lot of people that other companies do not, because we have a vision because we show people a part of the future. And the third thing, as I said, India, Africa, Latin America, yes, we have people working there, but we have not even started work there. And these markets, I personally support with banking, with company solutions, translations of the education will come. These markets are extremely important for us because the unbanked are there, our customers. So this is just the beginning. When I started, people were laughing at me. I always said, we want to be top three cryptocurrency out there. I never said number three, by the way, I just said top three. But now I think it's time, do or do not. We want to be the number one cryptocurrency out there. The biggest reserve cryptocurrency, the choice of the people, the most usable cryptocurrency, and of course with the biggest market capitalization. When the guys showed you today the market capitalization, we had a big, big Bitcoin, a bit smaller one coin, and the other coins were non-existent. I could not even see the line, yeah? Litecoin with 200 million. 200 million, I think, yeah, okay, let's not discuss this, but this is how I want us to be. I want Bitcoin to be the invisible line one day. One coin to be the market leader. We have a new website for a reason. I want everybody to understand even better what is special about OneCoin and where we want to go. First of all, we are global cryptocurrency. We are not a local coin. 
I am not a coin which is just focused on Asia or just on Europe or just on I don't know which country. We are in 195 uh, countries and we want to provide low cost transactions for everyone, everywhere. We are transparent. I did not hear this, but it sounded good. <laughs> Bigger than Western Union, thank you, I like this very much. Yes, thank you. We want to be transparent. You know, I have been accused by the so-called community of cryptocurrency. She is violating the philosophy of cryptocurrency. Sounds very spectacular, I'm violating the philosophy. So what is the philosophy of cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency has to be anonymous. To be very honest with you, I don't think so. Because no regulator, no government will let us create a global cryptocurrency system, a payment system, being anonymous. The Paris things, all these bad things happening, payments are made with Bitcoin. And I believe that people who need to do anonymous payments and things like this do not belong in our network. They can go somewhere else. And to everybody who tells me that I violate the philosophy of cryptocurrency, guys, we are a bigger community. We decide what the philosophy of cryptocurrency is. Huh? Thank you. So we are borderless, easy and safe to use, very, very important to be easy to use. If I want to use Bitcoin, you guys ask me, can we take Bitcoins for the packages? I don't want Bitcoins, but okay, fine, we can. You know, it took accounting three days to download the blockchain of Bitcoin. I don't know how many gigabytes and they hated me all. One coin is much easier to use. Easy, safe, push a button get the application, start. And everybody speaks about the blockchain, Goldman Sachs experiments with the blockchain. I don't know which bank wants to build on the blockchain. A lot of people get excited about this technology. And I want to tell you one thing about the one coin blockchain or the Bitcoin blockchain. Bitcoin can never be the cryptocurrency for the merchants. Not only because it takes 10 minutes to get there, no. The Bitcoin blockchain can do only as many transactions as Visa and MasterCard do per year, uh, per day. So a day of MasterCard is a year of Bitcoin. How will this work? How will this work? It's not possible. So our blockchain can do more transactions actually than Visa and MasterCard together per day. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a vision that really excites me. This is something that I want to do. I want to be the biggest cryptocurrency out there, a payment system, transform lives of unbanked people small businesses, big businesses, and just really grow huge. <laughs> Thank you. But, but, the question is, can we do it as we are right now? No, we cannot. And I'll tell you how, don't worry, don't worry. There's a solution for everything, no. But we have currently several issues that you all know. So we have a waiting list, as I say, for the mining of three to six months. Our packages are extremely popular. We have so many people joining us and all these new networks that come in. Just OPN brought so many people to us. Our sales are going very, very well. This product is so successful, we never thought this. Yesterday I was sitting with Juha, with Pear and with Sebastian, and we were saying, guys, would you have believed this two years ago? This 
opportunity, this coin has been going through the roof like crazy. You all have packages, or whoever has packages, and a lot of you even have splits coming up. So, the coins that we create are already assigned to some of you. I have no coins for the merchants. I love the application that we have now, but what should I give the merchants? How will they work with us? A lot of coins also are locked up in the coin safe, which is all clear. But we have no coins left anymore for the merchants. We have no coins left more for Latin America and India. And I have no coins to start using things. Some of you sell today, but not always. Some of you buy today. The market is not an ideal market. And the merchants, as you heard Chris speaking, the trade, it's a trillion euro market. And I have a capitalization of 4 billion. It does not work. It simply does not work. So what can we do? <laughs> Thank you. So there are two things that we could do, actually three things. One is we could close for new registrations and just focus on our coin. But all of you have been working very hard on building a business. The second option is we could reject the merchants until we have more coins mined. All of this is not an option for a so fast growing company like ours with a vision like ours. So there's a third option. And the third option is to increase the number of our coins. Create more coins for the merchants and create a bigger coin than anyone. Currently, the biggest market capitalization is held by Bitcoin. 21 million coins, and this is why their coins are so expensive. The biggest cryptocurrency, however, is Ripple coin with 100 billion coins out there. So we will increase the number of one coins, and I will tell you how. We will become bigger than Ripple coin, and we will go up to 120 billion coins. Of course, we cannot do it with our blockchain like today. We need to retire our blockchain and we will launch a new blockchain on the 1st of October this year. On the 1st of October, we will switch off the website for a few hours and we will launch a new, more powerful blockchain than before. So, but what does this mean for all of you? You have coins, you have done so much. Oh my God, is my coin worth more now? Is it worth less? What happens? First of all, what we will do is with more coins, we can drive the expansion in the new markets. We will have, I can guarantee you that the wait list for mining the coin will be three days to one week only, not more. We will run the blockchain every minute, every minute and not every 10 minutes. So if I go to the flower shop, I wait a minute and not 10 minutes like with Bitcoin. We will become the coin for the merchants because nobody else has such a coin like ours. And switching on the new blockchain, will also allow us to attract people from outside. Going public, we have said, we will go completely public in two years. Float the coin to the market, buy, sell, ideal market. But there are many people who do not want to join a network marketing company and still want one coin. This new blockchain will allow us a stepwise approach for some people who would like to buy one coins from you. So it will not be a complete going public, but in slow steps. And you know, we never do everything in one big step. We do it slow so that the market understands. We will start end of this year bringing the coin to the public. Because guys, the merchants are the public, right? So now there are more coins. Is my coin now less valuable, more valuable? What happened? Remember this chart here. 
The value of a coin comes by two things. One is the brand, and the second one is the usability. Now, if we have more coins, we can expand our brand much faster and much better. More people will know about one coin, and this will strengthen the brand. So on this side, your coin will become for sure more valuable. And the second thing is the usability. The merchants, one million merchants. Every merchant and every new member who joins us increases the usability of the coin. And out there, if we're very honest, none of the crypto coins is really usable. A choice for me as an online store, as a physical store, a restaurant or a retail store will never take bitcoins because it takes too long and the price fluctuates. So this is why we will become the choice of the merchants. Whoever wants to take cryptocurrency should take one coin. And this is probably one of the most important things that your networker will take home. The new blockchain will be activated on the 1st of October, which is almost two years after we launched OneCoin or our network. We launched the network on the 27th of September 2014. So on our second anniversary almost, we will retire the old blockchain and switch on the new one. And for you, as existing members, if people who supported us through phase one, because we are moving into a huge phase two now, whatever coins you have on your account or in the mining, if you have 1,000 coins on your account and 1,000 in the mining, what we will do as a company, we will double the coins on your account. This is not a split, and this will happen only once in OneCoin history. Never again. Whoever has joined us until the 1st of October and has submitted tokens for mining will receive these double coins. The website will be switched off on the 1st of October, switched on after a few hours, and the double amount of coins will be on your account. This will happen only once. Thank you. And there it is. I believe that this were the most exciting news ever. I have been preparing for this event for six months, and I hope you understand the vision of this company and how powerful it is. We will be the biggest out there, and we will write history, and the cryptocurrency community will have to rewrite philosophy. Every minute the OneCoin blockchain will go, and there's a last piece of news on this blockchain. And I believe this will create a new standard in the industry. We get criticized so much. We are a network marketing company. We're not a real cryptocurrency or whatever I hear out there. But we will do something that nobody else does and teach these people. We will encrypt, hide the KYC information of the users and store it in our blockchain. We will say to the regulators that we are the most transparent, most powerful, and most legal cryptocurrency out there. And nobody, nobody can compare to us. We have today the most users, we are the biggest crypto reserve currency out there, and we are the most transparent one. So we will not only be the choice for the merchants, but also the choice of the regulators, the governments, and whoever is out there. In two years, nobody 
will speak about Bitcoin anymore. And I thank you very much for being here, sharing my vision and just making this happen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's uh, a bit difficult to say how it all started because it's never one event or uh, it's always a lot of things. Um, there are two things how it all started. One is um, cryptocurrency. I was always very, very interested in cryptocurrency and I was uh, working with McKinsey and I was doing their very traditional and very big sector, uh, banking and insurance. So Bitcoin somehow popped up and we were discussing it. And um, if I'm very honest, I did not believe in cryptocurrency. I did not believe in uh, all this concept of digital currency, anonymous transactions and so on. But I still was following Bitcoin and uh, it got more and more successful and it got more and more interesting. So in 2013, beginning of 2014, I was thinking about cryptocurrency, but uh, I was also thinking a bit how to bring cryptocurrency to the next level, actually. Bitcoin has um, a lot of good things. It is the pioneer without Bitcoin, without their blockchain, without the idea, we all will not be here. But they have several things. One is um, Bitcoin is not a coin for everyone. It is, um, has his own usages and uh, it is the right coin for some people, but not for everyone. For example, a lot of people are attracted uh, who are more speculators because the price goes up and down quite a lot. Uh, a lot of people who do more um, transactions are um, interested, but transactions meaning like a money transfer. So I send from India money to Germany and a lot of people in the IT sector do this. And the third, I would say, big party who is interested in this was uh, people who are interested for reasons in anonymous transactions. So as much as we all have some need for privacy, and we all do because the, the world gets more and more transparent, we also need to stick to some rules, unfortunately, or fortunately, we don't know, because there have been so many things happening in the last years after Bitcoin creation, like terrorism and, uh, you know, drugs and all these things that are difficult to manage. One of the very successful things that Bitcoin was involved in was this Silk Road uh, merchant um, platform like eBay, where you could buy things that you cannot buy legally. Uh, it was closed and eventually. So Bitcoin had very, very interesting ideas, but it was not a mass market cryptocurrency. And I thought if you simplify cryptocurrency so that everybody understands it, it could actually become something like... Um, something like Facebook, something like Uber. Uber is also a very interesting company, which is controversial. You know, they change the way we, we live, the way we use transportation, and this is changing the world of payments and of finance. So cryptocurrency, yes, was very, very clear to me, uh, I think end of 2013, maybe beginning of 2014. And then I was thinking how to bring this to the masses. When I started, Thinking about cryptocurrency, my contacts were more institutional banking clients, big private equity funds. So people who definitely could get excited about cryptocurrency. For example, Goldman Sachs are also excited about the blockchain and so on, and they can invest in it. But unfortunately, these people do not have um, real contacts out there, retail people, like people like you and me. So the idea was how to bring a good concept, an interesting concept out to the people. And um, there I have a personal friend, his name is Sebastian Greenwood, who has been active in network marketing for quite a while. He was the one actually who suggested, let's do network marketing. And I said, no, let's not. Because <laughs> exactly when we wanted to start this company, another company, which was quite big, that went bankrupt and a lot of people had lost money and it was all over the press, the internet, and it was just a lot of bad vibes in the industry. So when we started and he convinced me that network marketing might be exactly the right thing. So we said, let's do network marketing, but um, let's not sell the cryptocurrency. Let's do an education package. 
There's definitely a lot of need for education, especially also in developing markets in uh, on finance, personal finance. And uh, a lot of people who want to be successful but somehow still do not know why and how to do this. So what we did is we created the education packages and we attached to them the free mining rights. And we said, okay, if you do the education package, if you're interested in cryptocurrency, do it. Even today, not all of our people mine the coin. Some of them just do the education package. And um, this is actually how it all started. But when it all started, I remember one of our first events was in Finland because people got very excited about this, actually. Um, I don't know how often I had to explain what is cryptocurrency, what is Bitcoin. And this was actually how it all started, end of 2014. I would say 2015 was the year where we all learned about what is cryptocurrency, what is mining, how does it actually work, so really the basics. 2016 got a bit more sophisticated, a new blockchain, new technology. And now 2017 and 2018, the next two very, very big steps are coming up. The merchants and the coin going public. If you go to websites like CoinMarket or whatever, you will see that there are a lot of cryptocurrency out there. Nobody can say how many actually. It can be 400 or 500, we just don't know. So um, in my opinion, however, there are maybe three or four really big ones who are trying to be um, big, who are trying to find a niche and who are trying to do some work. Bitcoin for sure is one of the big ones. It is the most liquid cryptocurrency out there. Most people who speak about cryptocurrency trade this coin or do things with this coin. Still, the transaction value is very, very low. So if you look at it, it's probably 3 to 4% of the coins who get transacted per day. And a lot of these transactions are internal transactions. It means I put from my account to another of mine account, just for safety reasons, coins. We have Litecoin. Litecoin is a big coin. It is probably the number two out there, but um, nobody actually uses it, even not in transactions. So uh, what happens is I see new coins coming mainly from the IT sector, popping up, and most of these coins are done because somebody finds out something interesting in the code. So they code something where you can do something on the blockchain or new usages of the blockchain. Ethereum, for example, it's actually not a real cryptocurrency. What they try to do is they try to provide a blockchain where other people can use. So um, I think there's still no coin out there which is targeting the mass market. And I believe this is the case because the community of cryptocurrency is a bit arrogant. Yeah? So um, they are for sure very knowledgeable people, very smart guys, uh, most of them with very heavy IT background. A lot of them also believing in this um, theory of, um, I would not call communism, but we should give something to the public, we should share it all and then see what happens. Nothing bad with this, but um, if you put something out there and uh, give it for absolutely free to the people, you have no money to invest in infrastructure, you have no money to invest in a brand, and you somehow have to trust it that it will move in the right direction. So for sure, they cannot invest in events like we do. They cannot invest in education. They cannot invest in uh, a strategy. So I think what is unique about one coin point one is we target the mass market. So we try to make the cryptocurrency as simple as we can. We try to link it to education. And uh, we try just to be accessible for everyone. Make the mining very simple, make the usage very simple. The second thing that I believe we are unique is that we are very global. So we always try to create a currency that is present on all continents. It is not an easy task because sometimes it is much easier to be on one continent. For example, Europe, where people are very sophisticated, where they understand this, or China, where people also like a lot of digital currencies. But still, we believed from the beginning if we want to be the future of payments if we want to do transactions we have to be also in africa we have to be in india we have to be in latin america so this is very very important for us and the third thing that i believe is very very important is um, we are one of the few cryptocurrencies that focus on usage 
and I don't mean usage of the blockchain like others like Ethereum, but I mean usage by people. Because cryptocurrency itself has no real value. It is just an algorithm, it is just a digital number that you have. Unless you put something behind. Something can be a brand, but something can be also the usability. What we want to do with OneCoin is we would like to be the first choice for merchants. We want to create something like PayPal, saying it very, very simply, but in the cryptocurrency world. And we all know how simple PayPal goes. You just press a button and you send from A to B uh, money. For the merchant, it's quite expensive, but it's very simple. You know, you join a big network and you just uh, can take money in from all over the world. I can send money to Australia today if I decide to, and it's very, very simple. So for us, this is also why we did the changes on the blockchain. We decided to make it a very fast blockchain, so um, it runs every minute. In average, this means that every 30 seconds your transaction gets approved because you do not, you know, you join like uh, within the block running. And it is as fast as Visa and MasterCard do transactions. I believe that this is also something very, very unique. I have not seen any cryptocurrency focusing the strategy on merchants. Most of them are speculator currencies and whenever you have high volatility, it means the price going up and down very, very quickly and um, uh, fast, it is bad for you as a merchant. Why? Because you want to take the money that you want. You want to sell a service for 100 euro. So you would like tomorrow to have the 100 euro too and not to have 90 euro, 110. Of course, you're happy if you have the 110, but it can go both ways. So as a merchant, you want to be sure you will receive what you advertised as a price. And this happens only if the cryptocurrency does not move too fast and too much. Well, I believe that the network should do nothing else than communicating this because, um, you know, I'm just making money, I'm just making commission. It can never be just the, the reason why somebody should join a network. Then you can go, you can sell soap, you can sell whatever is out there, I don't know, beds and things like this. Um, I think understanding cryptocurrency is actually the key and this is something that I wish for on the events to happen more. I have been unfortunately to some events myself where I was listening for an hour and I had no idea what this company does. So um, the unique thing about us is education and then if somebody wishes the cryptocurrency. Of course cryptocurrency can change the world and I believe it will. The question is will it be tomorrow, will it be in a year, or in two years or in three? It is unstoppable, it already started. The interesting thing about cryptocurrency is it is so global that it is very difficult even to stop it. So much better than trying to stop cryptocurrency, in my opinion, is to regulate cryptocurrency. Just to regulate cryptocurrency as part of the financial landscape, we are not banks, for sure not, but to make some rules for people out there, because today everybody can go and create a cryptocurrency and start collecting money. This is not the way it should be. So what we, for example, do is we already started doing KYC procedures, things that you normally do for opening a bank account. Or if you're a merchant and you want to join us, you still have to provide us with some documents so we know what do you sell, what is happening, why is money being transferred. We don't have to, but we do this. So um, this is one thing with the merchants. It's a lot of freedom of business. For example, for the European market, if you're a small, innovative Swedish company, what can you do? You can develop some cool software, you can do things. Most of us are in the digital network, they are doing interesting things. And then you want to sell it to other markets. It can be Asia, it can be India, it can be everywhere. But China and India are very difficult to sell things to. They do not have the free capital flows that we have. So you might find a Chinese buyer but it's difficult for you to get a payment. And it's very frustrating because you're a small company, you focus on software, you do not focus on international payments. If you're a big company, you can do this, but you don't have the know-how. Now here, cryptocurrency can help you because OneCoin is very strong in China and is very strong, for example, in Europe. So what you can do is you can put your software in our shop that is starting now in uh, next year, you can put up the price, whatever the price is that you would like, 
And then a transaction between a Chinese buyer and a European buyer can happen like this. Within one minute, the transfer is done. So this is something very exciting. For me, this is a bit more freedom of doing business. And the second thing, as you say, is the unbanked. Now, the unbanked, I don't know if you had a look what happened in India. India is a cash economy. So a lot of the poorer people who do not have a bank account for several reasons. Poor people normally do not trust banks. Poor people hoard the money for emergency. Within four days, uh, they told them that they need to come and uh, just give the cash that they have only up into a limit and they needed to exchange it and the other cash was just void. Now, this is a disaster and this disaster will not hit the rich people. It will hit like very, very small people who have their savings. Cryptocurrency can make a change. Now, you ask me if a person is so poor, he doesn't have a bank account, how will he deal with cryptocurrency? A lot of people have access to phones. So if you manage to link cryptocurrency to a phone, and of course it's already linked to the internet, you can give these people so many more options how to bank with us. So a cryptocurrency provides just another corridor how they can make money movements and how can they join the financial system. But we have to be very, very clear on this. This is probably the most complex part of um, what we're doing. The merchants, I believe, is quite simple to put together. Then you have to grow the merchant network. You have to be attractive, low cost opportunity, fast, reliable, fine. But the remittances, you always need a point where cash gets collected. And this is the second part of the strategy, which will come <clears throat> most probably only after we open the coin for everyone. You need to make sure that there are points where you can make the virtual currency real. So where cash can come in that people have, they can send somewhere and then they can get the cash and go to the supermarket and spend it. It can work, for example, if you um, get several partners to join. It can be a phone company because you go and pay your phone bill or you can just charge on your phone bill the cryptocurrency and back. It can be a big gas station chain, for example. It can even be a supermarket chain. Like if it's a big chain, they can take cash in for you, they can give cash out. For example, in Germany, a lot of supermarkets started giving cash out with your card. So the same can be done for cryptocurrency. You just need to find a lot of points and a lot of partners, again, a network, where they support the idea of cryptocurrency. And to be honest, I believe that this will happen because um, banks currently have a monopoly on many things and they do not treat some of their clients in a good way. So I believe that the second system, a financial system, will be created and somehow will happen. How fast, I cannot tell you, but um, there's always this tipping point theory. Things start, grow, 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 and at one point of time, they just reach a point where it just gets inevitable and just like goes out. On the One Life Network, some of their main concerns is, um, is this a Ponzi scheme? And when you have a digital product that you cannot touch, like an education package, of course, people are more skeptical. So um, I respect everybody who has questions or who criticize uh, or just wants to talk to us. But what I do not like is when people do not do their homework and do not check what is going on. Now, a Ponzi scheme, we all know what it is. A Ponzi scheme means that new money feeds old money. So we had this Bernie Madoff scandal somewhere, like the guy was taking investments from the public, uh, promising huge returns and then paying out the returns, not because he was a smart investor, but because he had, uh, you know, taken new money in and it's one point of time it stopped. When you join the One Life Network, what happens? First of all, we have never made any return um, promises. Why? Because we are selling the education package. It's up to you if you mine the coin or not. What will happen to the cryptocurrency? We do not know. And this is a very, very clear statement. Cryptocurrency is one of the most risky asset classes out there. Nobody knows what will happen. It can go through the roof, but it also can like not go through the roof. So both is possible. But what is important when you speak about the Ponzi schemes, first of all, we give people the opportunity to make money without paying for a position. Every week I have between 300 and 500 people in the network, sometimes even more, who have a non-paid position, a rookie position, 
and who make commission on them. These people also can earn tokens to go and join the mining. So, um, of course, it's not a Ponzi scheme if I let you work for free and make you make, let you make money making for free. I'm paying you, you don't pay me, point one. And the second point, which is very important, as I said, is fresh money feeding old money. Now, why and how am I obliged as a One Life Network to pay you? I'm obliged to pay you only a commission when you earn it. And you earn the commission only by uh, making a sale. So only if you go and you sell a package, I am obliged to pay you. So I do not need to get somebody in my network to meet my obligation. If you all stop selling tomorrow, I don't have any obligations anymore to anyone on paying commission because there's no sales event coming up. And this is very, very important. Whoever is interested, but unfortunately a lot of our critics are not interested in this, can check out also the legal opinions that we have. We have a Swedish legal opinion, we have an English legal opinion, we have a German legal opinion, Italian I think also. All of these uh, jurisdictions are quite strict and have very clear rules. And all of this are saying we are not a Ponzi. Now, one thing that I would like again to make sure in the network I believe that we as a company are very clear on what we do and what we don't. But sometimes some people get overexcited and say things that are simply not correct. So I again would like to ask all of our distributors to take education extremely serious. Educate the people that go out there, educate the downline and the distributors so that the information that we provide to new people is correct. Because I believe our company and our product is exciting enough, we don't need to be selling so hard and saying things that are not correct. If you present the project in the right way, and if you present the stages that we go through, if your people are encouraged to go through the education, it is much easier for all of us. Because we then understand one coin as a cryptocurrency needs to go through stages. It is uh, for sure not uh, get rich in 90 days thing. And I really do not want people to market this like this. Sometimes, you know, all this, how we're portrayed by the media is our own fault. A lot of things that the media write is distributor X said that. And even if distributor X said something wrong, I cannot attack this and I cannot get a lawyer to go against this because he really said this. And this is very frustrating also for us as a company. So again, guys, try and... Um, get the right information, educate your downlines, and just make sure that uh, we do the right things out there. So um, we had two very exciting years. Uh, we were growing very fast. We were doing very, very good things. We did some adjustments too as a company on the blockchain, things that we just um, did not know before when we started. For example, the blockchain and the merchants. Now, the best I think is yet to come and uh, the most exciting part is coming now because now we have to move from just mining the coin into usability of the coin. And the first uh, thing how you can use the coin is moving on with the merchants. Um, 2017, January, February, we launched our own merchant platform. So what does this mean? As a merchant, you can join the platform for free and you can sell your services or your products, whatever you have, you can sell it uh, in this platform. You have access to over 12 million people there because we have about 3 million paid accounts and about 9 million free accounts in the system. So this is a lot of people. And the good thing about these people is the paid accounts, these are people who have for sure money and who are interested in buying things online. So um, you can join as a merchant for free. And for example, I don't know, if you have a flower shop, you can say, okay, this is a voucher for my flower shop. It is worth 100 euro. You can come any day and join me. Groupon, for example, does things like this. However, they force the merchant to do a 50% discount on whatever they sell so that they are attractive and the fees that the merchant pays are very high. So in the end of the day, they're only 20% maybe staying with the merchant. 
what we want to do is if you're a merchant you get access to our client base you can offer your services you can offer uh, your products however we want you to take 25 percent of whatever the price is in coins of course a lot of our network will get excited some of them have small businesses some of them already are exciting merchants about this so um, these people can join the network of stores the network of uh, people and so on so um we will also incentivize the members to bring in um, merchants. The liquidity of the coin currently is still low. So this means that you cannot liquidate all of your coins tomorrow before going public. This is why we will give the merchants the option to take up to 75% of the price in cash. If you're a merchant, if you want 100% in coins, you can. Yeah, But if you just want 25% in coins, you also can. However, what we will do as a company, we will pay a BV uh, value on the cash payments. Why do we do this? Because first of all, the more good merchants we get, the better for the coin value. And uh, of course, we want this coin to be very, very successful and to get good merchants. We said, I think in Bangkok, we said 10 million users, 1 million merchants, and hopefully one day 25 euro for the coin value. But I do not want to have 1 million bad merchants. I want to have, even if it's just 100,000 merchants, but really good merchants where people get excited to use them. And I believe that in incentivizing our distributors who attract merchants for the network on the volume that the merchant makes is the right thing to do. Because it's so easy for me to sign up. I can sign up today 100 people, 100 merchants. If their products are too expensive, not attractive, bad quality, no point. So it's again, we trust each other as a network, we want the best for the network and this is how we want to grow as a network. And of course it's very nice for you as a merchant, you know, you put the one coin sign on your door, I accept one coin, people maybe come and ask you, what is one coin? I want to know more about it. Then the merchant can go and say, okay, this is an education package, if you want, please have a look. And um, again, the network wins from this. So 2017, to get back to your question, for me, is the year of the merchants, why 2018 is then the year where the coin has to go public. <laughs>